All right, I think that's all for the uh, for the good packs that everybody would want to see that they the packs that I've had that nobody's seen before from my videos. These are just uh, common base cards, and I'm just filming this just in case I happen to open up a pack and see some remarkable card that I've been, that I haven't seen before. I'll try to call out some of the ones that are somewhat important, like the inserts. Palm, a Palmer card that your mom's threw, cards that your mom threw out. Legendary lineage Frank Robinson Guerrero. CC Sabathia Topstown. Ticket to Topstown original. And each a row. Decent. Not spectacular, but. Third time around with these base cards. Nothing's really spectacular anymore. They're pretty much just plain base cards. I'm really hoping I can pull something decent now. And, 25 packs so far and then these two blaster boxes if they have uh, 8 packs, uh, 10 packs so I'll be at 45 packs so far minus the 4 for classic stuff uh, be 41 packs that I've had a chance to get some kind of a uh, some kind of a game used auto card something and I haven't gotten anything yet because they're all retail packs I think they're 1 per 30 packs or something for anything game used Babe Ruth History of the Game let me throw this Papelbon on the table real quick. Papelbon, Turkey Red, Ichiro, and Brad Penny. Nothing spectacular. Logan Ramirez. Oh, this is the Ortiz jersey that some one of the construction workers built in Yankee Stadium. Uh, the Ortiz jersey that he buried. I really wonder what if that was just not a publicity stunt of some kind. I mean, I don't know why anybody would spend $180 on a jersey, if not more, and then just to turn around and bury it unless it was their own jersey and they gave it up. But I just don't understand why you do that unless it was uh, unless you knew something significant was going to happen with it. There's the cards that your mom threw out, I believe, yep. Scott Olson when they were young, Ramirez, Robinson, Diaz. Uh, seeing this card reminds me that I've only gotten to this day one short printed card. It was uh, number 110. I know the Andrew McCutcheon is the is the regular number 110 and the SP for it was Willie Stargell. I sold that uh, that Stargell card on eBay for 1464. So it uh, those SPs are definitely in high demand and that's a good example of a card that I put on eBay because it's way too hard for me to try to get uh, a good price on that without either really costing myself a good deal of profit to help knock down the prices on the rest of these commons or scalping people is what they would call it by overcharging for something so I don't I just let the customers decide by putting it on eBay Johnny Bench and Pudge just some regular old base cards here Guerrero franchise history D-backs and Griffey he is getting older isn't he he's getting older he's a good ball player though I, uh, he started the same year I started with baseball cards He's pretty much the face of Upper Deck because of the 1989 rookie card that he had. So every time I see Griffey, I just I, I got a smile because he's never been tied up in, in scandal or steroids or anything that was uh, anything against the game. He's never been tied up in anything like that. Lindsay come Turkey Red, Miguel, Nothing spectacular. Wait a second. Franchise history. Okay, I was making sure that wasn't some kind of an SP. That's just a franchise history. Ricky Henderson when he stole, uh, I believe, when he stole third base. I don't know why they would have a plaque for that. I guess. Beckett. The house, Crawford. <laughs> There's a Longoria 
first class ticket to Topstown. Gold. Johnny Bench, history of the game. Schmidt, again. Longoria, regular Topstown. Try to set these so that way you get to at least see the most recent one. Just got that one two packs ago. Nothing real spectacular there. Red Sox franchise history. Ryan Howard, Turkey Red, Jones. Check it to Townstown. Looks like this is just going to be the more of the well, couple of mom cards that your mom's. To, oh, these might be. Wow, I'm really baffled at what this is because if this is the card number. I, I, I'm really baffled by that. I'm not sure if that, that may be an SP. Uh, it's, it's possible because um, I've seen an Ozzy Smith on eBay that was because I know this is the back of the cards that your mom threw out, but I've seen a uh, Ozzy Smith that had two different backs on it. One of the backs was this, and one of the backs was just a a fancied up version of the card back from whatever the card front is. I'm not sure on those. Once I figure out what they are. If they're SPs, they're going to get posted on eBay because they're too hard to judge. Frank Francisco, done. Bo knows defense. Tales of the game. I miss watching that guy play. I really do. I really wish he hadn't gotten hurt. Frank Thomas, Prince Fielder, Lineage, Grinky, Sweeney, Morrow, and Franchise History. For the Mets. This feels kind of thick. Right, probably just convincing myself. Yep. Here's the Ozzy Smith card that I was just talking about right here. This is the cards that your mom threw out version, but this also has another back, which I believe is the back of his his actual 79 tops card, just uh, souped up like that 89 tops card was. Like I said, I'll figure that out here in the future. Cranky and McCutcheon are the other two inserts. Nothing spectacular. Gordon Beckham, Chris Lindstrom, Colvin, Rodriguez, peak performance, Pujols, ticket to Tobstown, Toby, Toby Stoner. It's a unique name. Uh, yeah, have a good. Uh, 18 or 19 minutes worth of video that I'm going to have to either edit out or split up. I'm a Tigers fan and I've never heard of Brent Delugach 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 D-L-U is kind of hard to pronounce with D-L-U but I've never heard of that guy. I've never seen him play and I'm, I watch almost every game that I can for the Tigers. I have a subscription to it, so I, I try to see as, as many as possible. So whoever that guy is, he's a rookie. That's it. The end of it. Probably the two highlight cards would be the two patch cards here. I know everybody, uh, when they first came out, people were buying those things up like crazy, and obviously this is the first diamond cut card that I've ever gotten. Thanks, guys.